The IAAF Combined Events Challenge has moved to the Czech Republic. This is the Kladno Decathlon. And the clock keeps ticking down to Moscow. Dmitry Karpov's in this one. Olympic bronze medalist way back when in Athens. And good to see Krauchanka from Belarus back to health and fitness after years of injury. Karpov third from the right-hand side. Krauchanka third from the left in the yellow. Krauchanka's been left behind here. Karpov's trying to get on song, but it's Dudas in the centre from Serbia. Mikhail Dudas takes it. He's delighted with that one. Karpov was third. So Karpov trying to move up from that third position in the 100 metres. That's a bit better. Marek Lucas, 11.09 in the 100. He's in good company here. And he'll be happy with that. It's a personal best. Andrei Krauchanka, ninth after the 100 metres. Got a really sluggish start, but that was better. Really reached for it. That's the best jump of the day. He's up to second overall. And what a celebration. So many years of injury for Krauchanka. Seems a long time ago since that Olympic silver medal, but that's a personal best. Karpov, so big, so powerful. That's the best put of the day, and he's into the lead overall. I see Olek, 209. Oh, yes, one of only two men left in the competition, and that puts the pole up to third. Can Krauchanka match the pole's effort? Yes, he can. Brilliant stuff from the Belarusian, and he's into the lead. The final event of day one. Karpov, second from the left-hand side. Big, powerful performer, those shoulders rolling, but Krauchanka inside, and the yellow is trying to track him. The two big men with the big reputations. But watch out for Hedvikac on the inside in the maroon vest. He's coming through as Karpov tires. Krauchanka's rocking and rolling. And it's Hedvikac who's going to take this 400. Karpov second, Krauchanka third. But it will be the Belarusian who emerges on day two as the overnight leader. Krauchanka fourth from the right-hand side. The overnight leader. Sluggish start again as it was in the 100 metres. But now he starts to come through. Sedlac is trying to hang on. Karpov's in third in the blue. But what a run this is, Krauchanka. Brilliant way to start the second day of competition. Well, after that great hurdles, Krauchanka must be feeling confident. And that's excellent. Biggest throw so far by over two and a half metres. Karpov went really well in the shot put. Oh, and that's big. That's over 50 metres. And these two are turning it into a real duel in the sun here in Kladno. Lucas, 4.62. Oh, yes. Brilliant couple of days it's turning out to be for this youngster. He's up to fourth overall. Andre Krauchanka still leading. This for 4.82. Miles clear. Little hint of frustration there in the body language. Knows he can go higher. Karpov. 5.02. Oh, that's superb. The double world championship bronze medalist is really good when it comes to the pole vault. Krauchanka. Trying to close in on another victory here. Another stepping stone to Moscow. And that's his best javelin throw for five years. Lucas. Saw him record a personal best in the pole vault. Oh, that is absolutely massive. Over 69 metres. He's up to third overall. What a competition. So the 10th and final event, the 1500 metres. Krauchanka is leading. Karpov's in second place. There is Krauchanka in the yellow vest and the knee-length tights. Jaroslav Hedvikac is going to take this. He won the 400 yesterday. He's a good runner. This should move him up to fifth place overall for the competition. A look at the finish from Krauchanka here in the yellow. He's going to take second place in this 1500. That's enough for the overall win. And he is back from injury. First, good for me. Because uh, in three years I can't compete because I have a problem with my leg. And now I'm very happy because I, I can compete with guys. 
I back and uh, good results. It's, I think in Moscow will be better. Well, the Olympic silver medalist from Beijing will take a lot of confidence from this. Karpov in second and Marek Lukas finishes in third. Another round of the IAAF Combined Events Challenge. This time it's Kladno. Once again, some of the best in the world have gathered here as the countdown to Moscow continues in earnest. Karolina Tominska's here. So too Hannah Melnichenko, European indoor bronze medalist. So Melnichenko third from the left-hand side in the yellow. Tominska, the Polish athlete in the pink just outside her. Melnichenko at the moment. Tominska's grimacing and trying to pressure the Ukrainian. But it is Melnichenko who's going to come away and take this one. Good way to start. Personal best as well. No wonder she's smiling. Tominska for 174 and it's there. Fourth in Daegu two years ago. She is a class act. Melnichenko. This for 180. Excellent. She's delighted. Tenth in the Olympic Games last year. She'll want to go better and knows she has the class to pressure in Russia later this year. Liska Kluchinova. Seventh after the hurdles, but she's up to second with that 183 clearance. She's over the moon. Well, the young athlete from the Czech Republic enjoys competing here. Eighth in the World Juniors a few years ago, so she's got some good pedigree as well. Now Karolina Tominska looking to close the gap on Meldachenko, who's still leading, and that is the best put of the day. So rounding off day one here, Tominska with that blonde bob. Melnichenko's on her inside, and the Ukrainian's really trying to pressure Tominska. The Polish athlete is the better runner on paper, but Melnichenko's really determined to finish day one in style. Tominska takes it, but Melnichenko pushed her every step of the way. Tominska won the 200, but it's Melnichenko who'll be the overnight leader. Plenty to ponder here in Kladno. So, pushing over. High fives for a season's best. Tominska knows she's got to do something to close the gap on Melnichenko. That looks better than the previous jump, but by how much? 6.34, it's a solid effort. And Hannah Melnichenko, that big strapping on the left knee, really reached for that one. That's a good jump, 6.46. She's turning the screw on this event. Javelin is not the Ukrainian's best discipline. That one's fallen just shy of the 40 meter line, but she does have a sizable advantage already. Now Eliska Kluchinova, a really good javelin thrower at her best. You can see it's bigger than Melnichenko's just by the trajectory. That's the second best throw of the day. So the final event, the 800 metres. Melnichenko's leading, Tominska's in second, Kluchinova is in third place overall. Can Tominska do anything to try and erode the lead of the Ukrainian? And it is Karolina Tominska grimacing down the home straight. She's a really good 800 metre runner, 205 PB. She'll be outside that today, but she is going to finish this Kladno heptathlon in style. She takes it, but Melnichenko coming across the line in third has done enough for the overall victory. And Melnichenko's just secured the world leading point score so far in 2013. Long jump must be better. I hope in Moscow I jump. I try my jumps. For javelin, I happy really <laughs> because uh, before I have problem with my hand. And 39, it's for me now. It's very good. And 800, what I want do it. I take Carolina and running nearly, and I arrive first. It's I happy <laughs> and PB in 800. It's good. <laughs> So a world lead for Hannah Melnichenko, she's in great form, Tominska in second and Kluchinova comes home in third.